All right, so welcome. We are gonna kick it off with why do we gain weight or lose weight and have this inability to deal with our weight and choose how we want to look after trauma. And the explanation is actually pretty simple and it's very based in science and it has everything to do with your mindset as well as your relationship with your body. There are three main facets that we have to take care of when it comes to our weight. And so I'm going to cover those three things with you. Um, and you know what, in all honesty, when I walk my clients through this, like, you know, they know what they need to do. We all know. It's like, why aren't we doing it? So a lot of this is cleaning house and mindset. And that's what we'll do in group or in private coaching. Um, or you can do with yourself right now. The other piece is just what happens to our bodies, to our adrenals, to our digestive system, to our reproductive system, those basic survival functioning systems in our body when we walk through a trauma. I want to be really clear that this doesn't have to be a physical trauma that you experienced or a mental trauma or emotional trauma or spiritual trauma that you experienced. It doesn't have to be one. It can be all four. It can be just one. It can be um, something as simple as literally like getting kicked out of the church. Um, this has happened to many of my friends and it affects you completely on your whole system and your body goes out of whack. It could be something like a uh, sexual assault. It could be something like losing your house. It could be a car accident. It could be going through a divorce. This just is any situation where you cannot cope. Now, as we get older, we're able to cope with more and more and more situations, right? Now, if you've walked through a childhood, which far too many of us have, that was painful, right? Where your parents were less than optimal, then you might have been stuck in this situation for a really long time and never have experienced this beautiful relationship with reality where you can cope with everything around you. And that's a whole different segment because if that's the case, if this is a childhood trauma experience for you, oftentimes we don't know what we don't know. And so relearning how to have a relationship with your body that's positive and beautiful is a completely different thing. Um, the cool thing about it is I help people really recreate it and own it for yourself. And that's a like you have a clean slate to start on if you went through this as a child. Um, the hard part is, is it's breaking a lot of patterns that are stuck in the other six personal power zones. So a lot of patterns in your mindset, a lot of patterns in your emotional well-being, a lot of patterns in your soul and your spiritual connection and trust with yourself, a lot of patterns in your relationships that you have now, and a lot of patterns in, in with money and and purpose and how you are showing up in the world and serving, okay, in that purpose. So it's really about bringing it all together. So this piece, this body piece, your relationship with your body is one segment. All right, so here it is. Here it is though. When we walk through a trauma, our body goes into a survival mode. We have the inability to cope, and so only our basic, basic needs are clicked into action. So your heart starts pumping, and you get oxygen to your brain. Your heart starts pumping, and you get oxygen to your brain. Your other systems, beyond your nervous system, your other systems, so your endocrine system, your um, gravity reflex system where you can balance in life, your digestive system, and your um, reproductive system kind of all go, we'll wait, we'll wait till everything is safe again. So as you walk through life, if things aren't safe again, if the system doesn't reset itself, you're stuck, you get locked in, blocked, stuck, however you wanna call it, in fight, flight, or freeze. And this makes digesting life nearly impossible. 
your elimination system nearly impossible. This makes reproducing and creatively manifesting life nearly impossible. This makes your hormones whacked out, your adrenals whacked out because the endocrine system is, is off, it's turned off. So to turn it back on takes a little bit of oomph and resetting your system. Now in private practice, we do a deep meditation practice, a more of a hypnosis practice, where we reset this system. And we do some reparenting in this system to reset your fight, flight, or freeze system. Because what happens is this. If your natural ability to survive says fight, okay, we all have one. If it says fight, you are going to bulk up plant your feet and fight it out. This is a woman who sticks in a marriage for far too long, that never gives up on that alcoholic asshole of a man, right? Or whatever the situation is. Um, I'm going to extremes just to explain it to you just a bit. Um, so there's that, right? Then if you are a flight person, your body is going to start burning all the weight to run, 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 right? This leaves you tired. Either way, you're just tired. Ugh. Hey, now if you're a freeze person, you may or may not feel comfortable in your skin, but you may or may not have a weight problem. It, you might have just froze in that particular weight and you can't release or gain weight, but you know that you're just stuck. There's nothing you can do. The more you work out, nothing really happens. The more you re release and diet, nothing really happens. Um, and this also can be a really frustrating place to be. So let me tell you now what you do about it. If you have, if you know that you have a personality that hungers down and fights, it's about inviting relaxation in. And what I'm going to recommend to you is this, pretty much stop working out. Invite yourself to learn some yoga. There's yin yoga or slow restorative yoga is really beautiful for you. Eating foods that are going to be easily processed and food combining is something that's really important. If you wanna know more about that, I have a Nourish You program. I also have um, the Amazing You program and then I have it all online called Divine in Mind. Um, so what we're going to do though here is I just want to encourage you to food combine, meaning don't mix your proteins with your carbohydrates and eat lots of fruits and vegetables. You probably already knew that, right? And if you're going to eat a protein, just eat that protein with the vegetables so it has a lot of stuff to digest. Your body needs certain enzymes and your pancreas isn't working very well. And different enzymes are needed when you do a protein, any starches. So, I mean, different things are needed when you eat starches than when you need a protein, right? So eat that alone with your vegetables. And you can read about food combining online. There's a lot of information. This is the program that I went through when I had cancer. It's also one that I went back to when I got into tip top shape, um, about 12% body fat. I mean, I was rocking it to, I wanted to do fitness competitions and just feeling that awesome in your body. And the last thing I want to encourage you to do that many of my clients don't do is eat enough, eat enough. If you don't know how much you need to eat, set up a consult with me and we can figure that out. And there's a link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one private call where you and I will get on the phone and we'll figure out what your next step is to work together. And I'll tell you more about all the programs that I offer, working privately with people, group programs that I have coming up as well as um, deeper programs. If this is some of what your heart calls for you to really know about, you can get all of my programs and become a teacher. So to go over what you learned today, why we gain weight is because when we go through trauma, we can't cope and our body goes into natural, a natural state of survival. 
when we go into that survival state, we have our heart pumping, our circulatory system going, and our respiratory system going. Everything else pretty much shuts down, okay? Our nervous system is, is firing things off, but it's really sporadic, and it locks in fight, flight, or freeze. Now, from that place, you have to reset. If you don't, you get locked there. If you're a fighter, you're going to gain weight. If you're a runner, a freezer, or if you're a runner, you're going to flight, you're going to shed weight and not be able to gain it. And if you're a freezer, you can do either or, but you're just stuck in limbo, stuck in life. And you'll probably see these aspects around you in all areas of your life, telling you which one you are. From there, you have to reset it. So to do that is to reset your digestive system and make it really, really easy to digest your food. If you are a fighter, go ahead and do calming exercises. If you're a flighter, you wanna do that as well, calming exercises. And if you're a freezer, you can do more um, HIIT workouts, but short bursts, like 15 minutes tops of a great HIIT workout, all of which you can find on YouTube, all of which I also teach in my courses, right? So if you want to work privately with me, we can design it for you. All right. Next, you're going to eat really, really good for your digestive system. I recommend food combining. And the last thing that you're going to do is drink plenty of water to flush your system out and set your intention on the water. So this is what I do. My last, my last piece here is I have my water and, you know, holy water, blessed water. You can do that to your water. Um, there's many studies done that we can bless our water. So you're going to bless your water. If you're in fight, you're going to bless your water with peace and harmony with safety and trust. If you are in flight, you're gonna bless your water with calmness, with steadiness, with security, with peace, right? Pretty much the same thing, we're just processing it a little bit differently. And if you're in freeze, you're gonna bless your water with movement, with fluidity, with peace, and with security and safety mainly peace, security, and safety are what you need to reset your body to. And water is going to do that no matter what. So bless your water, and then as simple as it is, drink it. I recommend at least, at the very least, half of your body weight in ounces per day. That is to help flush it out. If you're drinking caffeine or coffee like I do, add a couple more ounces to it. This will get your body to detox and flush out, move out um, all of the gunk that it's been holding on to, either bulking up or shedding. It will start flushing all that old out so you can be renewed. All right, so join me next and we'll talk about autoimmune diseases.